on? Is it on? Is this on? Can you, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Hey. What's up everyone? Jimmy from MTV Travel Review and welcome to episode one of Stupid Simple Bike Chat. So you're probably asking, what is Stupid Simple Bike Chat? Well, I'm kind of an enduro bro. I get more joy out of riding the bike than tinkering with the bike. Turns out that a lot of mountain bikers are engineers, especially shop owners, like my friend here, Matt, who's one of the owners of Bootlegger Bikes. So the goal here is to take overly complex mountain bike subjects, dumb them down to a simple conversation, and hopefully teach you guys something that's super quick, easy to absorb, and gets you on your way to being a better mountain biker. All right, so episode one, we're gonna focus on a pretty common subject out there, and that is aluminum bars versus carbon bars. Now what you see here, literally the same exact bar, but one is aluminum and one is carbon. Which leads us to the first difference between aluminum and carbon and why most people go with carbon, which I believe is gonna be weight. So this is the aluminum bar, correct? Absolutely. And this is the carbon bar. You guys can't feel this, but the aluminum bar is significantly heavier than the carbon bar. And a lot of people on bikes like their bike to be as light as possible, but there's a lot of other differences between aluminum and carbon. So the first thing to talk about when it comes to carbon versus aluminum, aside from weight, I think is going to be durability. So from my understanding, aluminum is pretty tough, right? And then carbon can be more brittle. Is that, is that generally correct? Yeah, carbon is definitely more brittle. So when we're, you know, we're considering a material for a particular bike or a riding style, we, we really want to focus on, you know, what is the intention or intended use of the bike. Downhill racing or downhill riding, falling and having impact with rock, uh, with trees, with the, the ground in general is pretty common. So aluminum tends to be a little more durable and less susceptible to, um, you know, those, those impacts where carbon is a little more brittle material and can definitely have catastrophic failure as a result of those impacts. Yeah, and that's what I've seen. You always see the horrific videos of people on carbon bars and the end of the bar just literally snapping off, right? So, I've, And I've seen that happen and, and, you know, some of that really comes down to assembly and installation. For example, if I, you know, if I'm installing this carbon bar on my mountain bike and I over torque any of my controls, like we all use lock on grips now, we have a shifter on the right, a dropper on the left, and we have a stem. If we over torque those, and at any point we rotate the bar under even low torque and it scores the handlebar, that's a susceptible area for, yeah. for catastrophic failure. I've seen situations we're descending a, a pretty simple trail under low speed and somebody puts a handlebar in the dirt and it snaps off cleanly like it was cut with a saw. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's that's a catastrophic failure that's that's a result of in my opinion, some assembly issue, potentially a manufacturing or material issue, but typically an assembly issue. Yeah. So generally speaking, if I have aluminum bars, I hit a rock, I, I take a big ding, you, you can pretty much tell, like if an aluminum bar isn't broken, it's probably still got some life in it. But with carbon bars, again, much more brittle, if you get a ding in that, you score it in any way, it's, it's literally, there's not much give, right? It just snaps, it shatters. So that's the biggest fear with, with carbon versus aluminum. I think the other difference with carbon, right, is because carbon, from what I understand, is like layers of carbon. So you can kind of design the carbon however you want in a bar. You can make different shapes. You can allow for more flex within the bar as well, right? Where, where aluminum can be more stiff sometimes. And yeah. It's malleable. Absolutely. That, that's right. So if you look at the particular characteristics of, of aluminum versus carbon for a given wall thickness, carbon is about twice as stiff, five times as strong. However, it is, it's a material that, it's a moldable product. So engineers can, can determine what wall, wall sections and thicknesses they need at any particular area of the handlebar to make it stiff where they want it stiff and compliant where they want it compliant. Yeah. Um, Cause that's also a benefit of carbon is you can make it a compliant material. Yeah. Uh, compliant, it, compliancy is a, is a term we like to use in the bicycle, bicycle industry around you know how how any component or frame absorbs the impacts with the ground whether yeah. they're low frequency or high frequency impacts yeah so <clears throat> carbon is definitely a material that can be engineered for a particular riding style to to accommodate those yeah and another point on carbon versus aluminum so i always used to think that that carbon bars are just more stiff 
and technically the material is more stiff, but what I've now learned is that they're actually carbon is a natural damper. So when you talk about those, those subtle impacts and kind of that chatter, almost like an aluminum baseball bat hitting a ball when you were a kid. Imagine that reverberation through your arms. Carbon actually absorbs that. So it can make somewhat of a more bearable ride easier on your hands and arms because you're not getting all that vibration. Uh, we'll actually show you a clip here where you can hear the sound difference between the aluminum bar and the carbon bar. And you can hear that the carbon bar, the sound just dissipates and the aluminum bar, you can actually hear it ding through and it resonates through the bar. So that's why a lot of people mm -hmm. will switch from carbon to aluminum. All right. Which you guys, carbon or aluminum? Aluminium. Yep. Carbon. Wow. I think the last thing and the biggest difference that we have here, right, is going to be cost. <laughs> At the end of the day, mountain bikes are expensive, right, uh, and, and just getting more and more expensive with components and everything. So carbon bars, from what I understand, are double the cost of aluminum bars, generally speaking. Generally right? speaking, yep. And that's because of the carbon cost, the, the molding factors, all the stuff that goes into it. Yeah, absolutely. Some of it's engineering, as I alluded to earlier. You know, there are, th there are things that engineers can engineer into a carbon bar to make it compliant where it needs to be and stiff where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. So there's some ad additional engineering, but most of it comes down to material and manufacturing. Yep. Fair enough. All right. So to <laughs> recap, carbon bars versus aluminum bars. Carbon bars, more expensive, but way lighter. They're going to be a lot easier on your arms because they absorb uh, impact and they absorb chatter, they absorb, they dampen for materials. But the downside for carbon is going to be that they can be a little more susceptible to damage, right? It's more brittle, it's likely to break without you knowing that it's coming and you have to be really cautious not to nick or damage the bars because then again they're just more susceptible to break very easily. Aluminum bars, cheaper, more durable. I'm going to go ahead and say that for most riders, aluminum bars kind of fit the bill, right? Carbon bars aren't really a necessity. No, they're not. I mean, a, a lot of folks have been riding aluminum uh, components, particularly handlebars for years, and having a ton of fun. No. Either way, I, I think they're both, I think carbon's come a long way. Aluminum is totally fine. If you want to get fancy and you're trying to save on weight, carbon's also an option. So check out what's out there, see what works best for you. Now the final mm -hmm. question, do you run carbon or aluminum bars? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of carbon. I run carbon. I've been running carbon uh, uh, rims, frames, handlebars for probably 20 years. You know, back when carbon was in its infancy as far as the material being used on bicycles. I'm a, I'm a you know, I'm, I'm six foot four, I weigh 200 pounds. I'm not a DH rider. I'm a general trail rider and I ride hard and aggressive. And with that being said, I've, I've not ever had a single carbon uh, bike handlebar wheel failure in in my life as a bike shop owner I certainly see it in the shop it's not frequent but I see uh, I see a handlebar here and there or a rim here and there that that's that's experienced catastrophic failure mm -hmm. as a result of the things we talked about earlier yeah um, but at the end of the day you know as I, as I get older <laughs> I certainly feel the benefit of the weight and the dampening characteristics of carbon and yeah. and I value it so yeah same here. I've always, I think I've always run carbon bars. Originally, because I thought it was the cool thing to do. It would like being an enduro bro. You just, you gotta be cool. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta run, stay you gotta up run the You gotta yeah, run right. carbon. So, and I'm not as as graceful as you. I don't think I ride very <laughs> obnoxiously aggressive. Heavy, and I'm heavy footed. Yeah, I'm heavy footed. I don't baby my bike at all, and and I've never really had an issue. So again, I think it's personal preference. But both options are out there. Both options work. So figure out what works best for you and. Yeah, thanks for tuning in for episode one. We're hopefully gonna be put out in a bunch of episodes here and a bunch of different subjects. If you like the video, if you have a subject you think we could cover or any questions or comments, or you wanna tell us everything we did was wrong, put it in the comments below. Let us know, let's have a conversation, and yeah, keep riding, guys. You That was good, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Are you gonna pick these stickers? Try <laughs> So what is Super Simple Bike Chat? Did I say that right? Stupid, 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 stupid. All right, so episode one, we're gonna stick with Snickers. Snickers. But the aluminum bar is significantly heavier. He heavy. 